everybody, welcome to a brand new Let's Play series in Hearts of Fire 4. Kai's right today. We're playing as the KMT. We played as them once before. I think at this point, I think it was probably like two years ago, whenever the China update first dropped. Um, we lost terribly, but this time I'm gonna try to actually make things work. So, of course, we're playing in a new update. Uh, we do have all of the no step back mechanics. We got, you know, one supply hub. That's nice. I'm assuming we don't really have any trucks to. Yeah, we know trucks, we know trains, we know convoys. Okay, excellent starting position. Of course, we start with zero factories. We have, um, how many men do we have? We've got 11 divisions here. I mean, that's okay. We will assign ourselves some commanders. Get our commanders going, Lin Bao. Decisions available. We can get Army Navy experience. We won't do that because again, playing as China, um, Army Reform actually does matter. I don't, this is different now. You don't need to spend our experience. You need to have two land doctrines. You know what? That actually makes a lot of sense. So we'll try to get that done at some point. I mean, it's kind of it's similar because you still need army experience to buy the land reforms, but it's a little bit different. Access to sea. We can get control there. We get some rifles, five hundred. So that's about fifteen hundred rifles right there. We call you, which is fifteen political power, seven political power on you. Okay, we need to basically just spread out as quickly as we possibly can, taking everything we possibly can. We're gonna go to uh, Nanchung. Of course, these areas over here should end up rebelling in a moment, so I'm not too sure how much land we're really going to have to worry about. Bahari Commune, I would love to get some uh, troops here. Did the political power off you the second NRA, getting free units? Honestly, gonna be way more important. Follow you, you actually don't do anything, I'm pretty sure. In the railway network, it gives you bonuses, supply hub, I can tell you right now. Not really uh, the top priority for my government. Okay, Guangzhou is now fallen. I'm going to move our way over towards you. Because we're currently at war. We're just at war with eight provinces. You're now at war with Anqing. Wars are kind of breaking out all over the place. But again, eventually, um, you guys in all these areas should end up rebelling at some point. I don't remember exactly when that's going to happen. Marshall Wu is back on Qing. I'm going to go over here to kind of separate you. Use some enemy forces towards the north. So yeah, the, the war here basically, it just begins like immediately. You are... Yeah, you're going to go to the Hunan clique. So actually, this is not as important as you might think. Yeah, okay, there you go to the Ligong clique. The Hunan clique should rebel in a moment. There they are. Bring forces up north. We can support up to 19 divisions. I don't know if we get, like, a special bonus. Yeah, we get a plus 12. I'm assuming that's just so we don't, like, immediately die. So our army is... We cannot train to span or edit unit templates. And Serving penalty is terrible. Equipment reliability goes up a little bit. Supply grace. And we have, like, no popular support. So our army is not, like, it's not great. It could be better. It could be worse, though. You gotta remember, it could be worse. Okay, they lost Anqing, um, abandoned. You're, you should end up losing to Anqing as well. Do we have any secured any of the areas? Not yet. I'm gonna need 40 political power, which is quite a bit. Okay, so we're gonna bring our units forward. We're not at war with Anqing yet, but we almost will be as soon as we get a border with them, almost certainly. So I need to, uh, blue army. So we got the second NRA. Infantry weapons. Or we get two more units. I mean, okay, here's the thing. Infantry equipment, it's okay. I mean, it gives you 15 army experience, which we could utilize to modernize our army. But just getting a free unit? Actually, I think it might be three free units. 250 guns. You do not exist. You know what? I will go for the establish a Jamfon based government. And we have one ally here from Hardy Commune. It's actually pretty good to have allies from the Hardy Commune because they will not be having uh, the Chinese uh, penalties. Okay, so let's see. We are currently they're at ninety four percent because Nanqing's way up there. But if we can take control. Of some ports, that would be nice. I don't know how much longer we have until then. Gain some stability. We need to secure... 
you know, provinces up towards the north. We got you under control. We don't have you yet. But we should have you in just a moment, so I'm not too concerned with that. The port is proving to be a little bit of a annoyance. The return of the Senate Committee. After a long and tenuous field voyage from Paris, the KMT Senate Committee arrived in a small group through the legation port of Funzhan and have traveled secretly to Longyang. Because of the ongoing state of chaos in southern China, it is in quite a fair with little in the form of pomp. With Song Ch uh, Qingling present, Wang Jingwei later delivered a speech outside Langwang City Hall, congratulating the Jingwei soldiers on holding out thus far. Along with the Nationalist government in exile, the French trained and, and equipped uh, regiment of Chinese expeditionaries returned via Fujian's port in small squads. A large cache of smuggled rifle ammunition provided by the commune is currently being distributed via back channels. So we got free, uh, one free unit. My voice is cracking a little bit. We got one free unit as well as uh, some rifles, which I'm happy to see. Royal Gridlock in Britain. Okay, we want to push you. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Again, I don't know what's good on my voice. I don't know why it keeps cracking. Yeah, but you guys should be in basically encircled right now. And I would say that's securing the province. There we go. Province is secured. Looks like you guys over here are actually already low on supplies, which I'm happy to see. Our supplies. Supply hub here. Capital supply. Our capital is do uh, down here in Longyang. But, I mean, supplies are... I mean, doc I mean we might as well start building um, some convoys. I'm sure some air units or some... Uh, way to train or uh not trade trade is gonna be better than having nothing at all we can recall you indian failure mini military advisors or we can scavenge for supplies honestly i think scavenging for supplies is better than i'm assuming getting a general he might be a good general don't get me wrong but you mean more attack and there is on Qing up towards the north Draw my offensive line out. I don't know why you're set to normal. Or you're set to careful. I don't really need you to be on careful right now. A uh, free military factory. Uh, yes, because I literally produce... I don't think I have a single factory. No, we have a naval dockyard. So we technically do have one factory. By the way, if I do this, does that actually give you the encirclement penalty? It does. Hilarious. You shouldn't have the encirclement penalty right now. We can easily fix that in the future. Bring forces forward. Do you see some troops from Germany here as well? I'm assuming they sent volunteers to the eight provinces. Yes, they did. Got 71. Yeah, you're going to go your way up north. That's okay. Now, if I stop attacking... I was going to say it would give you the encirclement penalty as well, but... Right now, it does not seem like it's going to be the case. How bad is your supplies? It looks, like it looks like supplies for uh, the League of Eight Provinces is looking pretty bad right now. Okay, bring our forces forward. We're at 92 right now. Forest skirmish. Okay, give me, give me a second. Forest skirmish between Anqing and the left KMT. Up until now, Chen Chaoyang's revolt against the Nanjing regime. And our own uprising have avoided direct con directly confronting each other. However, the Sunny CC's fire has been never meant to hold, and local conflicts have risen between the NRA and the Anqing forces engaging each other. As our goal of the National Revolution is our indirect conflict with Anqing's warlordy, um, many within the Senate Committee believe that broadening the war into the private provinces is inevitable and welcome it. Some groups in the NRA have spoken against the arguing that the Zili clique in the north will smash the weakened NRA, and the revolution will soon fail to fulfill the goal of the Wuhan uprising and burn out at last. How many troops do you guys have? 10 to 26. War support. The Internationale, we will, uh, yeah, we'll go, we'll go to their meeting. I'm going to do a quick save here, because again, th this might end up uh, resulting in a lot of trial and error. Do a quick save. We're going to break with the Qing allies. Again, just for the moment. Actually, I'm probably going to just, like, drag you up, right? What if I sneak attack in my way into Anqing? I'm going to try that. We bypassed a focus. That's okay. Okay, well, I think we've gotten some supplies. I'm going to keep pushing my way up north. 
How close are any of these guys? Lake of Eight Provinces is very close to capitulating. Payment is breaking out the Schwan. All the gets arrived again. We, we've seen this event plenty of times before. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Where are your supply hubs? We got a supply hub here. We got a supply hub in Hangzhou. I'm assuming Anqing is probably also a supply hub. Bring you up north. I'm honestly going to have you guys just do some basic attacks. Then it closes in Spain. I mean, we're not going to be able to really do too much there, all things considered. But, I mean, I will say this German unit is actually a bit of a pain in the ass. Because, again, they're not taking any of the penalties that, you know, we are right now. Let's recall you. Maybe, how good are you as a general? You are a 4433. I mean, that's actually pretty good. DSA. Yeah, let's go to Hangzhou, because you are a League of Eight Provinces actual province. And I want you to go capture more and more cities. We'll take the... We'll, we'll allow women in the revolution. We have 42 right now. Modified government. Again, yeah, you're, you keep t popping up. But yeah, I think that's probably a glitch. Which, assuming at some point, will be fixed up. Hey, we got some uh, guys here. Ziyu and Zeng Fukai arrived from the heart of commune. Thanks to Sun Fo and other struggles, finally Zeng Faku and, and Zhu Yu uh, were called for a new revolution to return to China, recently from the Hardy Commune. These hard years of Atat Chase and the Hardy Commune made their will and reserve and stronger, although some committee members think their right wing, think their right wing, thought may uh, make complicated and KMT more indeterminate. That's fine. Let them in. You also get 500 rifles, 200 manpower. Are you a better general? Funnily enough, the answer is no. Are you a better field marshal? Also, no. But, I mean, I'll take the 500 guns, for sure. Ignore you. And after this, we can seize a thousand guns from Germany. We can integrate territory a little bit faster. Your free units. How many? We can, we can actually hold a lot of units. You know what? Give me the regional militias for right now. The White Terror. Yeah, that's something else we don't need to concern ourselves with right now. Bring forces up. You are one victory point. And you're okay. Whole position. Don't need to even attack right now. Incidents in Wenzhou. Occupation plans for Wenzhou and other AOG ports have been severely lacking compared to the, the meticulous steps and lines advanced drawn around Zaymen. When NRI forces occupied the city of Wenzhou, spontaneous anti-foreign riots began all across the city, leading to the murders of numerous German residents and looting of much of the city's uptown districts. The complicated matter, several smaller advanced groups of nationalist troops also participated in the looting until more disciplined units arrived to secure the area. Wenzhou is now severely damaged from the civil unrest. But we do now have a factory. We're making like one gun a day. However, that's better than making no guns. So I'm I'm feeling okay about the situation. You are not connected to the capital for okay, because we have like no we have naval bases or not naval base, we have a railroad up here, but you're also not really connected to the capital in any meaningful way. And the left the KMT does not start off in a great position. Bring forces around here. You're gonna help support this assault. Don't, don't attack these guys. Even though they have really low organization, it's not them. Um, I don't think we want to attack right now. The Harvest of 36. Before the National Revolution began, the soldiers living in the Zhang Zhao Funjun insurrection zone were would assist local peasants in the autumn rice harvest. With the NRA now fighting a conventional struggle, there are fewer hands as usual to help the harvest as revolution with agriculture. The so political power goes down. War sport goes down, but I have a lot of manpower. Send some troops... To assist in getting supplies. Did you take back Nanjing? You did take back Nanjing. Yeah, and I want to make sure you guys are getting the encirclement penalty. We got hangs out here. I'm going to move you one province closer. You can probably end up killing this division. Would be my guess. But overall, I feel like we're doing pretty, pretty well. Like, I want to get... I mean, I want to get the Germans out of here. But again, Germany... 
Their organization just better. Like, what's our organization right now in our units? 50... Actually, 54 is not bad. Unless they've changed, um... You. Insurgent army. Revolutionary fervor. I don't know. I'm actually not seeing the normal penalties. Unless I'm looking in the wrong place. Which I might be, honestly. We are missing some steel. But I have no factories to trade. We have a lot of tungsten. Would anybody like to trade in tungsten? I got a lot of that. We do need to push our way up to Nanjing. Are you at war with Xiaodong? No, you're not, unfortunately. You now are in circle. Actually, wait, you're no, you're not in circle because of the freaking legation cities here. God damn it. Just hold position for a quick second. I mean, Nan, Nanjing, I mean, we need, we do need to take that city at some point, for sure. Okay, we got troops moving back out. And once you're done in about 20-ish days, she's going to give us three more units, which I would be happy to have. Okay, you're going to be multiple combats. Well, I thought you would be multiple combat. But either way, we want to push you out. It's going to shrink our front line by two provinces, I'm pretty sure. And I'm definitely okay with that. Okay, hold position where you are. I mean, hangs out. It's a, it's, it's a supply depot, right? So I would love to take it from them if I could. But it'll be, it'll be, it's hard to say whether or not I can actually get that accomplished, right? You are technically an Anxing city. So you are a little bit less valuable. I would like to surround Hangzhou. Hangzhou is worth what? Worth 10 victory points. I mean, without Nanjing, it's going to be harder to get you guys to fall. Again, I would love if Xiao, uh, Xiaodong clique were to um, invade from the north. Okay, regional militias. That's not what I wanted to do. Please stay where you were. Okay, those are the only you lost too much organization there, so that's okay. Chinese Military Coordination Committee. One civilian factory. I mean, I would like it. I would also like a thousand. How many guns do we have? We have, we do are, we are actually in a positive amount of guns. So I'm going to take the Tiger Rest uh, Battalion. Move your way down south. You're going to secure a port province for yourself, which is a little bit annoying, but that's still okay to get you the encirclement penalty. Hold position for a quick second. No, where the hell are they going? Wait, no, they're abandoning the port. Okay, so they're we're not going to get the encirclement penalty again because they have uh, boarded themselves up with the Laodong clique and with the legation cities. Okay, counter attack immediately. I want to take that city if we can. You should now be encircled. You're not going to be encircled again due to the fact that you're not um, surrounded entirely by us, but your, your supplies will still be pretty bad. And Anshink forces are going somewhere. I could not tell you where they're going, but they're leaving us, which, I mean, that's okay. So you're going to give us some equipment, which I, I would like. One military factory. We cannot do this. We don't have political power. But you know what? Give me these supplies. I do not know where the Anxing forces are going. Yeah, I don't I don't really know what their plan here was, but And just attacking here. Supply is God, our units, our units are pretty bad. Like they're not good forces, which I'm a little bit, you know, it's a little it's a little sad, but it's okay. It's fine. But I do think, at least for right now, this is going to be a good time for us to end this first episode. Thank you for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, run thumbs up. If you not enjoyed, call me something down. If you want to subscribe, and goodbye.